Climbing a bit of scaffolding is all well and good. But let's see how you do out in the open. On top of that tower, then? Torno fra un attimo. So? Looks like you've learned all I have to teach you. I'll let Antonio know of your progress. Finish your other tasks. We're almost there.
Please enter. Your good work has restored us to our former strength, Ezio. We are ready to strike. Just tell me what needs to be done, and I'll see that it is. You'll approach from above under the cover of night. Emilio has posted archers around the palazzo. Kill them, but do so quietly. As they fall, my men shall replace them. What about the guards? When you finish with the archers, we'll regroup in front of this building here, and discuss next steps. Nessun problema. I'll take care of the archers and return to you. Then it's settled. In Bocca al Lupo. Crepi Lupo. Well done, Ezio. Everything is going according to plan. As we speak, my men are replacing the archers you've removed. The way to the palazzo is clear now. But not the building itself. Emilio's guards still patrol its border. Use my men. They can distract the guards. Save you from having to fight. And when it comes time to storm the place, remember what I've taught you. Seek out, though, Ezio. We await word of your success.
Your little house of cards is crumbling, Emilio. A minor setback. It will be dealt with. This povero Shemo Antonio and his thieves... Never mind them. It's the assassin you should be worried about. Why? Is... is he in Venezia? He's been here for weeks. How could you be so blind? Unlike you, I have been busy. Someone had to provide the weapons to our brothers in Firenze. Yes. And we also would... Get down! Oh, so what is it you want, Carlo? Maestro has called a meeting. Three days from now at Santo Stefano. Very well. I'll be there. Assuming you still live, if you want my advice, I'd find a less conspicuous place to win. Set eyes a target, bro. There's a fortress. If you say so. Goodbye, Emilio. Just so. What if he's right? You, call for my boat. It should be close. When it arrives, load those crates and prepare to sail. If Carlo speaks true, I must find a place to hide just until the meeting. Get him! Then he must be worse than the control. That means the attacks. No. I've worked too hard for this. There is so much less crime. The people have better lives. So some must leave. It is the price of progress. Why must the assassins always interfere? Like Giovanni. If he had just left well enough alone. Guardia! Guardia! Be afraid. I feel no fear, assassin. Only regret. I sought unity, stability, order. At too great a cost. Progress demands sacrifice. Non trova alcuna gioia in questo, ma non c'è altro modo. Requiescat in pace. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Come, let's open the gate for Antonio. Send us fallen and Emilio is no more. All thanks to you, Ezio. Go, tear down Emilio's banners. Return what he has stolen from the people. Tell me, Ezio, how can I repay you for your service? Money's always nice. 
easy enough. What else? Emilio was meeting with a man named Carlo. He looked to be a government official. Do you know him? Carlo Grimaldi. He sits on the Council of Ten. Why do you ask? What are you up to? I have a meeting to attend.
The last man I put in the hole was eaten by the Where is Emilio? I told him to be here. You told him yourself? In person? Yes, myself, in person. I'm concerned that you don't trust me. As am I. Perhaps you'll arrive with the others. Walk with me. So, how go things in the palace? Honestly, it's difficult. Mocenigo keeps his circle closed. I've tried to lay the groundwork, making suggestions. But he has other voices at his ears. Then you must work hard. You must become part of his inner circle. See, si, I understand. But it's harder than I expected. And why is that, Carlo? I don't know. He just... Uh, the Doge doesn't like me. Hold tight. I wonder why. It's not my fault. I keep trying to please him. I learn what he craves and I have it delivered. The finest jams from the orchards of Sardinia. The newest fashions from Milano. Yes, and that's called being a sycophant. What? What did you call me? A doormat. A flatterer. A bootlicker. Need I go on? Bastardo. You don't know what it's like. You don't understand the pressure in there. Oh, I don't understand pressure. No, you have no idea. You are a government official. I'm two steps from the Doge himself. I am beside him day and night. You wish you could be where I am. Are you done? Hardly. You listen to me now. I... I am close. The Doge can be recruited to our cause. I'm sure of it. I just... I need a little more time. Time is not a thing we have in the great supply. I'm going to make a use of some of your senses. My 
My feet are killing me. Can't we sit down inside somewhere? Do you know anywhere truly safe to discuss things such as these? With a lovely smile. It's been such a slow day. Buongiorno, cousin. Senor Carlo? We thought Emilio would be with you. Emilio is dead. What? How? The assassin. The same one who hunted down the Pazzi. He's here in Venezia. E così? Silvio, did you not know? He could be anywhere. He could be here right now and we might not even know. He struck Emilio inside his own palazzo. And so? What of our plans? There is no longer time for subtlety, my brothers. We must act now. But Marco, I'm so close. A few more days, if I can just... No. It happens this week. We should keep moving. And what does the Spaniard have to say of this change of plan? You can ask him yourself soon enough. He's here? From Roma? Mm. This could be so... Good. But perhaps he's made a decision. About what? About which of us shall step into the robes of the dog? I didn't know there was a decision to be made. Surely the choice is obvious to all. Obvious indeed. This should be the one who organized the entire operation. The one who came up with the idea of how to save the city. There is no lack of value in tactical intelligence, good Silvio. But it is wisdom one needs to rule. Do not think otherwise. Calma, calma, amici. Please. There's no need for this. You know it's not up to either of you. For all we know, you may not even choose a barbarico. <laughs> and why not me? I'm the one who's done all the hard work. Basta! We wait for his arrival. Are you sure he's coming? Yes! Signori, we should move a little faster. I feel eyes on us. Thank you, Dante. We will move at your pace. This guard's a good find, cousin. How much did you pay for it? Perhaps not as much as he deserves. He saved my life on two occasions. Though he's not much of a conversation. You should come for an hour. Enough with your inane prattle. The choice of Dojo was never up to any of you. And you were never given permission to make plans. Forgive us, Maestro. We wish only to serve. The plan is this. Doge Mochenigo will die tonight. And once that it's been done, Marco shall take his place. We ringrazio humilmente, maestro. <coughs> Good. Messer Grimaldi, you are closest to Mochenigo. You work the most vital. Serve us well, and it won't be forgotten. Walk with me. I don't want any blood spilled, you understand? It must appear to all that he goes quietly. Certo, Maestro. When are you closest to him? I have full run of the palace. He may not care to hear what I have to say, but... He trusts me by now as one of his own. Bravo. I think I want you to infiltrate the kitchen and poison his meat. So be it. Marco, can you furnish us with a suitable toxin on short notice? I defer to my cousin. That is really his area of expertise. Ah, Silvio. I am at your service, my son. What can you bring to get this done? I will confer with my associates in the streets, but chances are good that I can procure some candarella. Uh -huh. 
Yes, and what is that? It is a most effective form of arson, and difficult to trace. Ah, okay. Then it's the site. Truly, have you gentlemen found the best ladies in all the town? To forget your case. Hey, calm, calm. Attention! A little caution, friend. Lucky there were well-bound old tombs and not free pergament. Hey, what's wrong with you? How do we deal with troublemakers like this? The witch smeller. From the arms, they go. Forgive me, maestro, but is this not perhaps a tad dangerous for you? Involving yourself so intimately with the minutiae of our plans. I feel the need to involve myself more directly. The Apache disappointed us in Firenze. I pray you will not do the same. Do not worry this time. The Apache were a bunch of foolish... The Apaches were a potent and venerable family, reduced to rubble by one young assassin. Do not underestimate this troublesome foe, who now haunts your city. Or the same fate will befall the Barbarico. I want this done promptly. Bene, I must return to Roma. Time is of the essence. Do not fail us. Idiot, sono. I should have kept my eyes on them. <laughs> I need to go and see Antonio if I have any hope of salvaging this mess I've made.
Salute, bello mio. Come stai? You back to see me already? Desolato, mia cara. But I am not here to play. I must speak with Antonio. It's urgent. Antonio! Ezio's here! Ezio, is everything all right? Carlo Grimaldi and the Barbarigo are in league with the one they call the Spaniard. They're going to murder the Doge and replace him with one of their own. They will have all of Venezia, their entire fleet, in their grasp. And they call me a criminal. Then you'll help me. You have me on your side, brother. And the support of all my men. And women. Grazie, amici. But, Ezio, I must warn you. It's not going to be so easy this time. Palazzo Ducale is the most heavily guarded building in Venezia. Nothing is impenetrable. <laughs> this is why we like you, Ezio. Come, let's go take a look. We'll come up with a plan. This business with the Doge. Terrible. Though, treachery like this no longer surprises me. When I was a child, we were taught that the nobles were just and kind. I believed it. Though my father was only a cobbler, and my mother a scullery maid, I aspired to be much more. I studied hard. I persevered. But the nobles would never have me. If you are not born one of them, acceptance is impossible. So I ask you, Ezio, who are the true nobles of Venezia? Men like Carlo Grimaldi and Marco Babarigo. No! I say we are the thieves and mercenary and whores. While we work to save this city and its people, the nobles seek to make it their plaything. We need to scout the palazzo carefully. See it from every angle. We just might find a way in. I know of a tall campanile behind the palazzo. Or we might find a way to climb the back of the basilica. Do you have any ideas? I assume the front door is out. <laughs> Va bene. We'll try the front door as well, Saputello. This way. So, what do you think? We're not getting in this way. They'll have time to murder the Doge before we're able to get through all these guards. On me.
Look at that. Archers everywhere. And the walls are impossible to climb on this side. Fall in. Stay here. All right, this way. Oh, that is impressive. The wreckers. Bene, we're in luck. Looks like there's a perfect path up the scaffolding to the roof of the basilica. Shall we? Qui, let's do it. Ezio, look! Isn't that him? Grimaldi! Don't you understand what I'm offering you, Signore? Listen to me, please. Or this will be your last chance. How dare you! I'm sorry. Mi dispiace. I meant nothing by it. I'm only looking out for your safety. We're running out of time. There's no way through this fence, and there are guards everywhere. Diavolo! Let's go. It's impossible. There's no way in or out for men. Only birds. Yes. Birds. Where are you going now? To see my friend Leonardo. 